I am so happy I now know how to program. Programming is so easy. Programs never crash when you run them, this career is easy. What this analogy was basically used for is to, to say they're going to try and make a game with the programming skills of a first year college student. So, let's begin. First step, make a new project in your preferred IDE. In my case, it's GameMaker Studio 2. After that, just add a fucking square, give it movement, upload it to Steam, and prop. Okay, okay, it isn't that simple, but it's the general idea. That's the general gist about you make a game and you make money. Next step is to give our square an appearance. I'm just gonna take some sprites I own from Itch, readapt them for my game, and voila, we have a camera. After that, I decided to add a shotgun, because shotguns make me go nice. So, this shotgun is basically your primary and only weapon in my game. It shoots infinitely because I don't like reloading. Reloading makes me go the opposite of... Nice! So boys and girls, now it's time to add hands to our character because she has to have a way of holding the shotgun. So we go to the character in Ace Prime, we see what color would go well with what we have. After that, we go back into the editor and edit the shotgun and add the hand. Right? Right? Wrong! After going to Google and doing a quick search, I finally figured it out. Holy crap. That should not have taken a Google search to fix. But whatever. To power ups, you're gonna make the shotgun well do basically anything you want. It'll be able to, to shoot rapidly like a machine gun or just homing missiles or you know big ass bullets, you know, so so if you really think about it, it really isn't like a shotgun at all. But you know for that we add some more square boys, give them some simple AI so they're not dumb as rocks and they can attack the player and boom we've got basically the framework for enemies in the game nice, nice. Well, the last thing i wanted to add in this step lock before we end the short video was a player hud so the player could know how much health they have and stuff like that you know coins whatever so what type of game am i making well, first we're gonna need the, the blender. We need a blender because we're gonna mix a bunch of things to make my fucking game, okay? So, game blender. So first, we're gonna take uh, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, my favorite game of all time. I'm gonna slap that bitch in there because I like that game. After that, we take the shotgun and we just put that baby in because, as I said, shotguns. Nice. And finally, we take roguelike-ish, uh, you know, mechanics, gameplay, and slap that bitch in. We just, you know, buzz that shit, you know, let it blend, and hey, we now have my game, which is called Terminal. So basically, that's my game. It's gonna be a game like Legend of Zelda, it's gonna be in 2D, pretty cool. You have a shotgun, because that's amazing, so I'm gonna make a story for that, don't worry, that'll be in future devlogs. And yeah, you'll be able to go around blasting wizards and knights with your fucking lead shotgun, you know, no reloading, cool as fuck. You're gonna have to beat the game in a day, because, you know, loops, and that's pretty cool. Groundhog Day, as I said, great movie. In the near future, you'll be able to wishlist it on Steam, and eventually buy it if that's something you'd be interested in. You know, just, just saying. So, that was pretty much it for the first devlog of Termina. Stay tuned for some future updates on the game, and whenever it will release on Steam. Um, here's just a little bit sneak peek of um, advancements that have occurred while editing this devlog. These things take a long time to edit, so... Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.